Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. This is Katie O'Neill and I'm bringing to you the most exciting video of the week. Of course, it's only Monday, so it's not a lot to accomplish, but hey, today we're looking at two 4081. Uh, Dutch Stars. Both are completely special ordered. There's $43,000 difference in the MSRP of these units and I cannot wait for you to guess which one has what. So as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. You can find us five days a week at TTTRV on YouTube and you can find all of my videos at hashtag RVs inside out. Today we are starting in a 2024 4081 Dutch Star. Now both of these coaches have completely special order interior and exterior uh, colors and combinations and both of these coaches are fantastic. So we're going to talk about some of the things that are the same and some of the things that are different. So first and foremost, look at this shower. We have so much room in the shower. I love the rain head. I love the fact that we have our uh, recirculating water system that allows you to get your water hot without putting it through into your gray tank. We have this fantastic dark smoky faucet. Uh, we have the teak bench. The bench is an optional feature. Uh, standard feature on both of these coaches will be the, uh, the towel racks on the outside of the door as well as the, uh, the robe hook that you find just to the left of the washer and dryer. Um, the optional washer and dryer, I'll go ahead and show you now, is the Splendid stackable washer and dryer. Uh, this of course is going to really help with keeping the amount of clothing that you need to bring down to a minimum. But if you have a lot of stuff, one of the things that's so fantastic about this 4081 is um, all of the extra drawer storage that we have down here. So great place here to keep some boots maybe your flip-flops, shoes, anything along those lines. And then look at these extra drawers. So what a nice place to keep bathing suits, um, maybe underwear, socks, whatever it might be. And then even if you have a lot of friends with you, everybody can have their own drawer here in this, mid in this rear bath. Now the, 41, the 4081 is a bath and a half model uh, with two wardrobes, but it also has this huge bonus wardrobe. And you'll notice in the back of this coach, it does not have the optional safe. So for some of us, saving an extra 800 bucks on an optional safe might be an option. It's really fun to bring, to bring uh, this coach to you and show you um, how you can have a huge amount of savings but still have all of the great features. So there's that robe hook, for instance. Uh, and then here in this rear uh, medicine cabinet, please note that this coach has two shelves standard. And the next coach we're going to look at one that we've added a third shelf. So an extra shelf has been added. Now in both of these coaches, you're going to have, again, lovely dark metal faucets, beautiful glass undermount sink, striking tile, subway tile behind this really nice high polish um, Corian countertop with little glitter sparkles in it. A ton of room here for, you know, both towels, maybe sheets, and then little, little details like this, you'll see across the board throughout Numar. This little chain here keeps this cabinet door from bumping into this Lambrequin. So these are all little standard features that are so important. Um, I also love this aspect of the 4081. If you're like me, when you're getting ready in the morning, sometimes you wanna pluck your eyebrows or put your makeup on, great place to be able to do that. You can keep all of your cotton balls, Q-tips, uh, makeup removing pads, all right here underneath. And then you also have a great place to keep your toilet paper as well as any of those uh, supplies that you need for your black tank. Now on both coaches standard, you're going to find this escape hatch, the rear egress door. Uh, there is going to be a ladder that deploys right here on both of the coaches. So if you need to use it and put it back up, it's very easy to, uh, to deploy and then reinstall. And then on both of these coaches, you will see that we do have the optional MCD power shades. So these are uh, an optional feature. You could also save yourself another $5,000 if you wanted to in manual shades, but I do think that there's a really nice benefit to being able to hit one button and have all of those shades go to day shades or night shades. Now in both of these coaches, we've got this really stunning all tile floor. So this porcelain tile floor 
is just beautiful. And then Jody and I are gonna trade places. I'm gonna show you uh, this full length mirror that they have here in this bathroom because this is a standard feature in both coaches. And I think it's a really nice thing to have. If you've ever been getting ready to go camping in the morning and you wanna be able to see how you look before you take off for the day, it's so nice to have that full length mirror. Um, now here in the main bedroom, so in the master bedroom, we have again, two really nice sized wardrobes. Uh, the lights are gonna be standard, so little LED lights in both pockets. And then you also have really nice full extension. Uh, these are going to be the Glacier Glazed Hardwood Maple matte finish cabinets. We're going to see the Bermuda glaze high gloss finish maple cabinets in the next uh, coach over. So trying to really show you a lot of different uh, little nuances and then a lot of similarities. So in both of these coaches, you'll see that there's a little cutout underneath this nightstand. And then what's so nice about these cutouts is you can put your plugs into the 110 and USB outlets and run those cords over so that you can have your CPAP machine or any of your uh, supplies that you like over here on the left or right hand side of the coach so or the side of the bed so if you do have a CPAP machine that you want to keep below heart level you can do that you're also going to have this fantastic underbed storage now you'll see we've got the two optional chairs this coach that we're looking at right now this 4081 in uh, sonic blue and white silver and black this coach has got a really fantastic exterior paint job um, they are so completely different and unique from each other. Uh, and then this is the Colfax replacement called Stratton. So this is the, our new version of the gray interior. I love our headboard. I also love the fact that you still have your 110 outlets up here. And both of these coaches is a standard feature. You've got these grommets that come through so you can run your cords through for your iPad or your laptop, whatever it may be that you'd like to keep plugged in. And then I love this beautiful new design that we came out with in 2023. So we changed the fascias, we changed the lambrequins, we even changed the ceiling decor. So all of your central uh, ducting is covered by this beautiful ceiling. You can change your own filters. You've got these nice LED lights. But one of the most important features that we added in 2023 that you'll see here in this 24 is this panel right here. So this 10 inch panel allows you to, to control so many things. So that beautiful backlighting that you saw there in the bedroom, we can go here, turn all of the lights off in the bedroom. Oops, that's on, there we go, off. And then we can just go ahead and turn on those accent lights. Jody, go ahead and pan over, show those accent lights. So as you can see, you can really get a very nice, uh, unique um, appearance in your, in your coach. And I love those accent lights if you want a nice soft light. Now, another great uh, feature of this coach is going to be, of course, this solid door that separates you from the rest of the world when you want to sleep in. Uh, this is a nice, thick pocket door. It's really going to help with sound insulation. So if you've got someone who wants to stay up and maybe play some cards and you want to catch a little sleep eye, get ready for that hike the next day, you can get some sleep in your coach before heading out. Now, both of these coaches, you'll note, have a 43-inch smart TV in the bedroom. But what we don't have in this coach, which you'll see in the other, is the 43 inch smart TV in the front cabinet area. So again, lots of little nuances, lots of little changes. Also behind Jody, you'll see that we have this beautiful smoked mirror right above the wainscoting, uh, or the chair rail, I'm sorry, if you will. And so this smoked mirror is in both of the coaches, but over here where we see this other smoked mirror to match, bringing you the extra room that you have in the coach in the next vehicle or the next coach that we look at that we've actually had the mirror removed we put wallpaper in this location so again small little changes that you can make um, in the coach that we're looking at now we've got this euro booth we saw those uh, 22 inches of extendable table over there we also have this nice little leg that drops down to give us the extra support um, whereas we have a buffet with a freestanding table in the next coach we're going to look at so this is going to be the Euro booth. If you want to see what the freestanding buffet table looks like, we'll be able to do that next. And then also you'll see that when you have this Euro booth, uh, one of the benefits is that you have this great little armrest or arm in the back. And that means that when you're sitting down to watch a movie or to have a cocktail, 
maybe just you know shoot the shoot the breeze with some friends this is a great place to be able to sit back and relax so depending on your utility and how you like to operate your coach we have all sorts of options available to you another thing worth mentioning is this is the stratton interior but please keep in mind i have reversed the leathers on this so this villa furniture is made with the lighter of the two colors not the darker of the two colors so this is a very ethereal very heavenly very light very airy um, ex execution of an rv so if you want something where you walk in and it just pops it's really bright this is definitely the coach style for you and again so we've actually reversed the color combination in this coach now the flooring is the standard stratton uh, porcelain tile floor uh, we have the optional central vac in both of these rvs so you've got your kick plate here and your hose attachment uh, just to the right here uh, we've also got our courtesy lights down here in both coaches let's go ahead and turn those little courtesy lights on do 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 there we go these are great for when you need to access the restroom at night both of these coaches are going to have this really nice center bath. This is a mid bath uh, for, the, for the middle of the coach. It's got a lovely uh, vessel sink on the counter. It's got that same beautiful subway tile in the back. It's also a great place to be able to do your makeup. Nice medicine cabinet. And then another porcelain toilet. Now this coach has the standard gravity system for the Blackwater tanks versus the SantaCon system. So when again, we talk about these savings, if you've never had a SantaCon system and you'd like to save some money, we can help you do that. Both coaches will have great access to your fuse boxes, to all of your breakers. We've got some extra fuses in the center here. And then both of these coaches have the, uh, the Everest Wi-Fi system. So the better Wi-Fi system of the two that Numar offers. Um, giving you an optional SIM card slot where you can add an extra SIM card. You're going to find that the storage in the center of these bathrooms in both of these RVs is going to be the same. We've only added that extra cabinet or extra shelf in the rear cabinet. So we'll go ahead and show you one. There's no need to show you both, but it's important to be able to see all of the storage that you have in this coach. I think this is all really nice. Oh, you want to get in there? So if you want to keep all your cleaning supplies underneath your uh, cabinets, you can absolutely do that. Um, and then in both of these, again, you've got these power shades with these opening windows. Now on the note of opening windows, let's take a look at something that's kind of unique. So in this particular RV, it comes with the theater seats. So the next coach we're looking at will have the recliners. So the theater seats are going to be power seats. They're stationary. They're a little wider. Uh, they do go quite flat. Um, if you are a petite person, you will probably have to put a pillow under one arm or the other as they are very roomy. They make a lot of people happy. But what's interesting is on a typical recliner coach, you'll have this window behind these seats. Uh, my clients came in and saw these theater seats and said, well, we don't like those theater seats at all. We really like this window though. So we were able to actually change the windows out. So both of the RVs you're gonna to see today have this window uh, behind the seats, but please keep in mind, that's not a standard feature. It's an optional feature. Um, now, overhead storage in both RVs is going to be fantastic. Great place to keep all of your glassware, coffee cups, anything that you like to keep that's maybe a little more narrow. Um, and then in our galley, we have all of the room here. Um, great cabinet for tall things, olive oil and the like. You can get all the way back here into this cabinet with this pullout. Now keep in mind, when we go into the next coach, you will not see any of these rubbish shelf pullouts. They've all been removed. So if you'd like to see how this can look without having your rubbish shelves installed, we've even taken them out underneath the sink. So you'll find that when we look at the next coach over, none of the storage is set here. So please just keep an eye on that. Again, I really wanted to show you the difference between these two RVs because they are so both fantastic and both unique and so highly customized. It's just so nice to be able to uh, bring something to you where you can see all of the features that are optional, like the MCD power shades. So these just control all of your day shades, all of your night shades. So we'll put our day shades down. Both coaches have the optional 
uh, kitchen window. Uh, as a standard feature, you'll also see this lovely dark finished farm style sink. It is a dual basin. Um, one of the things I really like about this dual basin sink though is that it is not uh, the same size on both sides. One size is more of a vegetable prep size and one is going to be able to hold your larger pots and pans. Both of them will have the pour and spray faucet. Again, that fantastic dark metal finish. In both of these RVs, you'll find we've got a great place to keep all of your shell, all of your spices. Uh, we've got not only a microwave and convection air or convection oven now, we also have an air fryer. So for those of you that were concerned about where you would put your air fryer, it's right here. Uh, in both of these RVs, we have the removable true induction cooktop. Both will also have the cutting board on the rear. And in both of these RVs, you can take this outside and use it or use it inside. And of course, one of my favorite features is that you can boil water with a paper towel on top of it, just giving you uh, more of a fireproof uh, circumstance. You know, sometimes if you're in small quarters and something gets knocked over, it would really be a shame to um, have a situation like that while you're camping. Just a nice safety feature here. And then both of these RVs are going to come equipped with this really nice additional kitchen island. You can pop this in. Now, in this setup, we've got the theater seats opposing the queen size bed. I'm not gonna show you both beds because there's no point in doing things twice. We'll look at that in the next one. These are adjustable shelves, so you can set them at whatever height you'd like. And then you've got overhead storage. And in both coaches, you'll note that all of our wiring for our Bose sound bar, for our 50 inch smart TV, uh, all of those things is going to be running behind these cabinets. But instead of making short, funky little drawers, they do a really nice job at hiding that difference. So you, even though you've got a little bit of a, sh a smaller area underneath, it still has a nice uniform look across the top and then plenty of room to put in a Blu-ray player, your receiver, uh, your Xbox, whatever it is that you might like. And then we have our two 110 outlets as well as our two USB ports uh, on that side. And then in, on this side, inside of these controls, you also have USB ports here. And in the theater seat option, you have all of this storage for blankets underneath. I really love this aspect of the theater seats. This is a super nice feature. Uh, and then you can put your remotes and everything in top here. So very, very cool. Uh, you'll note that on this coach, in both of the plans that we're going to look at today, there's no carpet. So this more floor is part of the fact that we have, um, we have a hydraulic full wall slide on the 4081. So a lot of things that are really nice to know, three air conditioners starting in 2024 on all 40 foot and 43 foot models. So for those of you that have been a little concerned about the amount of, uh, heat, of air conditioning you can get when you're out on the road and there's more humid places, this is definitely one of those coaches that's got a little small package packed with three air conditioners, a lot of cooling power. The 40 foot coach is a tag axle it's a 450 horsepower engine, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, 15,000 pound towing capacity, 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, 60 gallons of black water, lots and lots of capacity on this coach. Um, and like I said, this is the Stratton interior with all of the light leather as opposed to the darker leather. So for those of you who are still fond of that white color that you can get on these coaches this has it and I'm going to go ahead and put my TV lift down now please note starting in 2023 I could do that on my phone I've got a Wi-Fi app where I could check my tank levels chart check my battery charge take a look at my solar input all of those things on an app on my phone now both of these are going to be six-way power seats and both of these coaches you're going to have a really nice extendable uh, desk so as you're going down the road you've got the ability to maybe sit down and play navigator a wireless charging dock both will have the fantastic step cover so that if for some reason you need to stop suddenly you don't go torpedoing into the hole underneath the front of the coach and both of these coaches will have armrests on both sides and both will be recliners this is the queen's seat. So there's a larger seat 
and a smaller seat. This is the smaller of the two seats. One of the reasons you may want to consider this seat is it's really good for somebody who's petite in terms of where you can put your arms on these armrests. So maybe a little more comfortable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the step cover back in. Okay, let's talk about some other features. So standard starting in 2023 was our lane departure warning system. So we've got this mobile eye up front. The mobile eye is going to have a haptic feedback that is available in your seat. Now you can turn that off, but if you want the, if you want the coach to tell you when you're departing the lanes, it's not an extra charge. Now you can go ahead on the coach across from us, which is another 4081 special order. That coach has the fully active safety systems where it will actually uh, have the cruise control that uh, accelerates and brakes for you. It's not necessary though for your for lane tracking. Lane tracking on this coach is going to be standard. The other difference with this coach is this coach still has the rear view backup camera and the side cameras. Some people want to have more. If you want to have an overhead camera, we'll take a look at that next door. This is your rear view backup camera though. So with your side mirrors and then when you turn your signals on, if you if you turn right or turn left, it's gonna you know, show you what's on either side of you. You'll have cameras nonetheless. There's also an optional 360 degree camera that you can purchase for this coach. But if you're trying to cut costs and you want us to be able to save some money, this coach is $43,000 less than that coach. And it is awful, awfully nice. Um, it still has all of the great little things like the drawer storage for your wallet and sunglasses underneath. Still has a nice little pocket to keep your cell phone while you're going down the road. So easy access and also a wireless charging pad here. So if maybe you have your nav and go going here, you've got your charging right now, I'm at 65%. I could have Google Maps going here. I still have my fantastic Freightliner dash with all of my steering wheel controls. And I still have um, my fog lights, my dome lights. I still have my power window. I've got my uh, tag dump, my heated mirrors and I have my HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. So we still have all of these fantastic things on this coach. And we also get our great customer support from Numar on this RV. So power shades, power visors. So you can see, I mean, all of these features are standard features on this Dutch Star, which is what makes this such a great value proposition for somebody out there in the market. A lot of times when you want to get a coach that's equipped this nicely, uh, you have to really check all the boxes. This is a this is a very nice Dutch Star with some very specific boxes checked. Central vac, air or I'm sorry, central vac, uh, dishwasher. Uh, we've got the the lower priced awning package on this coach, so I'll show that to you outside here. Um, so that's another nice feature. Instead of spending, uh, this is about 50%. We don't have the carefree awnings, which we'll see on one coach and not the other. But as you can see, this is the lesser expensive of the two awning packages. Um, so when you go through that checkbook um, or checkbox, you know, when you're ordering your coach, there's a lot of decisions to make. I was really hoping that in today's video, I would be able to kind of show you what these items look like when you check different boxes, because we always have everyone thinks they need everything. This is without everything. This is an $8,600 option instead of a $16,000 option. Now you're going to have the doorbell on the exterior along with the keyless entry pad. You're also going to have your dual fill 100 gallon tank. That becomes a 150 gallon tank if you get a 43 foot coach. But on a 40 foot coach, you still get your tag axle, your three air conditioners. Uh, in both coaches, these are pre-wired for the refrigerators of the Dometics. So you can see there's extra plugs over here. So if you decided to add a Dometic to this and you wanted to put in a slide out tray, you can do that. It's already wired for that, but you don't necessarily have to. And both of the coaches, we do have the optional television with uh, the 43 inch Samsung, the sound bar, uh, the two outlets, the one tens. Um, this is a sonic blue on the outside of this coach, which I just think is really fun. Uh, we have in both RVs, an optional pull out trays, which are 1000 pound rated. nice and quick. In 2023, we made our doors a lot easier to open and close. 
well I shouldn't say to open they've always been easy to open but a lot easier to close again we've got our central vac right here we've got all of our uh, hose attachments for our central vac down below with that kick plate you probably don't need to necessarily have um, the hoses on the inside in both of these RVs we have a fantastic bar station for all of your top shelf and mixers or if you want I guess you could put tire shine in here uh, this little hose is kind of fun both of these RVs have a deck on top that houses all of your expensive equipment your air conditioners your satellite receivers your solar panels they're all inside of a little walled area that holds the water and keeps you from having unattractive drip lines coming out down the outside of the coach and that little drip line drains down here uh, and throughout throughout other uh, strategic places in the coach but that's just a standard feature now also note that on both of these coaches you're going to see that we have a full paint finish not only all the way down the side so this beautiful soft masterpiece finish is carried on starting at the Dutch star all the way out onto these slides really adding to the panache we saw that egress door from the inside here's our def fill and this is a dual sided def fill uh, our chassis batteries are in the back here you've got two chassis batteries uh, both of these coaches have the eight AGM batteries neither one of these has the optional lithium ion battery pack uh, you could get a lithium ion battery pack this year uh, with up to three lithium ion batteries that has a second inverter or you can just run your generator going down the road it's really up to you uh, but I do think uh, that this is a beautiful uh, rear end I love the new taillight design that they came out with in 2023 again this is a 450 horsepower XCR chassis made by Freightliner there's also an optional um, Spartan chassis if you have the Freightliner you're going to have brake sync versus safe haul you've got your seven pin connector on both and then you get 15,000 pound uh, towing capacity because of the fact that you have this passive tag axle right here in front of this rear radiator um, so the radiator gives us the ability to have all of that extra space in that uh, rear area where our bathrooms are and then here we have a little container to keep our extra gloves and maybe a hose if we wanted to and again we're going to look in this water bay in this water bay you'll see that we do not have the SantaCon system so again if we're talking about ways to trim the fat but still have a really high-end luxurious coach you can save a lot of money uh, by custom ordering a coach with me that's exactly what both of these clients have done uh, both have gone in really different directions one of these coaches has eleven thousand dollars in additional um, optional equipment uh, and modifications and if that's what you need to have to make you have a longer relationship a more intensive buy-in on your product that's what's going to save you money in the long run spend a little bit more get exactly what you want uh, but also don't buy things you don't need so you'll see in the next coach there's quite a few things that we've actually taken out of the coach as well as added uh, so here in this next bay we've got our 50 foot power cord on a power reel as well as the optional surge protector that will be in both RVs and in both RVs we have our fantastic dual loop oasis system this Chinook system is what's giving you tankless hot water again 105 gallons of hot water oops there we go and uh, hydronic heat here's the other side of our, pay our pullout now what's really nice about these pullouts is when you get into these pullouts you'll see because they are a 60% extension you can access all the way to the center of these pullouts very easily and you'll note also that there's LED lights uh, you can see in all three corners here so if you get somewhere late at night and you need to unpack you'll be able to see what you're doing uh, we also have lights underneath these slides so that's another optional feature that both coaches opted for so you don't have to leave everything off the table you can just leave some things off the table and really get what you're looking for and again I love uh, this coach was designed by someone um, from Southern California this coach was designed by someone from the Northeast uh, both of them are very different both of them are very unique but I love the way you can see uh, such a huge difference in the appearance of both of these RVs 
And then you'll note here, we don't have our exterior uh, carefree awning package. It's a pretty heavy expense. If you don't need it, why get it? Uh, for where these folks camp, it's pretty tempered all the time. It doesn't get really hot, doesn't get too cold, didn't feel like the awnings were gonna do anything but block their view. So why put them on there? Uh, so on both, you'll have beautiful chrome convex mirrors. Again, side cameras. And then here on the front, you'll see this is dormant, this radar. Well, this radar is active. And so when I say active, what that means is that you've got your, uh, your tracking package. It's gonna allow you to set your cruise control to follow someone at a particular distance. Uh, so again, big cost. If you're not somebody who's going to allow the coach to accelerate and brake for you in high traffic situations, and you're always gonna have your foot on that gas pedal, and you're always gonna be having that control in the coach, maybe you don't need to have that extra expense. Now, on the other hand, if you're somebody who likes to maybe camp in a high desert area, you might want these additional carefree awnings. So this awning package is on this coach as well as the, uh, the full, the longer Girard awnings as well. Again, still both dual fill. Uh, still, of these, both of these are pre-wired. I don't know if we really need to go through all of them, Jody. I guess I'll open them up really quick. You don't have to peer in like you usually do because really, to be honest with you, both of these coaches are equipped, for the most part, very similarly. Um, a lot of the differences that you're gonna have in this RV are going to be on the inside. But we do have one difference I wanna cover and it's not this. This, of course, is that passive tag axle, which allows this rear wheel to pivot, making your turning radius from the middle wheel to the front wheel, so a much, much smaller turning radius. And I mean, just so you know, when I drove these things over this morning and we had to make them face each other, we're whipping around in the parking lot. I mean, they're so easy to drive. If you've never driven something with a tag axle on a 40-foot chassis, I dare you to come in and not love it. It is absolutely the most fun driving experience. Def tank again, another egress door, two chassis batteries. It's good that I know this stuff, huh, Jody? Holy mackerel. Again, brake sink, plugs. Maybe we should open, let's open this one, right? Why not, let's just open this one. Let's talk about, so for Debbie and Russ, we wanna say thank you so much for letting us show people your fantastic special order coach as a consolation prize for being so wonderful. We're going to give you a free gallon of Oasis juice. Please note, if your Oasis juice is way up here, this is an overflow tank. It's not a big deal. If it overflows, it's not a big deal. But what happens if it's below this cold line down here, you don't have any hot water. <laughs> That's a big deal. Uh, you also would not have hydronic heat. That's also a big deal. So uh, I would always recommend buying your RV from me, Katie O'Neill here at TransWest. Uh, I would also always recommend asking me for a free gallon of Oasis juice. Okay, another rear radiator. Uh, here is one of the carefree awnings not deployed. And then here's the other one deployed. Just want to kind of show you the two of those. And then also, here is that full wall slide not deployed. We're actually going to show you the walking room in the second coach. We figured we didn't have to do it twice since these are pretty long videos. Def, storage, and then again, SantaCon system. So if you would like to have the SantaCon system, which is this hose here, instead of attaching to this hose and running out this hole here, you're welcome to do so. You still have your paper towel dispenser. You still have your uh, shower with hot and cold water. Uh, you still have your a city water supply here on a power reel. So all of those things are all still part of this package, whether or not you get that optional SantaCon system. Um, still going to have your same uh, power reel. Now this power reel, one of the things I do want to point out to you is that it's up here. So for your, re your, re your retract button is up here. Mine's down here. I know it's a first world problem, but honestly, like if I could have it up on the door, it definitely is more convenient. So um, on both of these coaches, you're going to be able to lock and unlock these doors by your keypad or by your remote. So you've got two different ways to do that from outside. Well, I guess three, because there's also a button on the inside. 
but you don't have to go back into the coach, I guess is my point, to unlock these doors if you forget to do so. Uh, here's some of that extra porcelain tile. So we do give you some of that tile, but look at the size of these planks. I mean, really nice, very long plank tile. No, no expenses spared on this coach. Numar knows um, that when you're stepping into this level of luxury, you're expecting a first class product. And man, they do deliver, absolutely. And then again, both of these have our eight AGM batteries. Uh, they're daisy chained, of course, they're six volts. You are welcome to opt for the lithium ion package. It is a lot of extra money. So if you need it, I would like to discuss why. Um, I'll tell you right now, I have sold probably 25% of my coaches uh, that are special orders with it since it became available. 75% of the coaches that have it as an optional feature, most of my clients find it's not going to be something that they need necessarily. So save that money wherever you can. Another side for your dual fill. We'll go ahead and look at this bay now. Now I'm going to show you that eight kilowatt generator. And yes, folks, I'm sorry, they're both running today, but you know what? Put it in the comments, I'll explain. It was really cold this morning when we got out here. Here they are. If you want to turn it off though, there's a button right there. You can also prime it. Another difference, both of these coaches are going to have this airline right here. This coach is the only one that I have that has this optional hot water line. Now you do have hot water at your bay back there, but if you want to be able to wash off your windshield, you can add that hot water line. Uh, the client that ordered this one said he never used his hot water line at the front of his bus. He didn't know why he would spend 400 bucks on it. And I said, sold, whatever you want to do, man. Like, let's just figure out how to save the most money. Uh, so now, as we go inside of this coach, this is going to be the Catalina decor. So Jody, go ahead. Oh, I think I have to go in first, huh? Because I have to show walking room. Okay, I don't like the camera behind me, folks. I like the camera in front of me, I'm just saying. Here's the Catalina decor, though. So, Catalina decor, Bermuda high gloss maple finish. Look at this walking room, though. This is so much room to get back to the potty. So for those of you that want to be able to have access while going down the road, you have not only access here, you also have access to your refrigerator. You also have access to your pantry. And then remember how I told you there was no mirror on this wall? There's no mirror on this wall. Weird. Yeah, so funny thing is Debbie and Russ came in and they found all this stuff and they're like, we've been doing this full time for 30 years. We know exactly what we need. And it's funny, they had actually seen our video. Um, Newmar was kind enough to allow Trans West to go to the dealer show this year and make videos of all of the new products. And I had made a video on a 38 foot mountain air. And when they came in, they kind of thought that that was the direction that they were going to go. And uh, we took a look at both and they really loved the 4081, but there were some things about it that they wanted to change. And we were able to make all of those modifications uh, through the order process um, and with Numar. And we really came up with another fantastic coach. Now on this coach, this Catalina interior is also, instead of gray, it's beige, but we've chosen on the Catalina interior here, all of the lighter color features as well. So we flipped it again. We took the villa furniture, we took the darker beige out. We went all light beige on the interior of this coach. We actually changed out a number of the Lambrequins, so there's a little less definition, a little less busyness in the RV. And then again, we took out that center mirror and a ton of the rubbish shelves. We also added a really cool vessel sink in the back. So we're gonna go back and start the rear of the coach once again. Um, but you'll notice, so you've got maybe a little more of a milky beige countertop with this Catalina interior. Again, we've got this table that slides out. We'll get to that though. Let's go ahead, let's start in the back. So what's different? This coach has heated floors. Even this zone is heated. This coach also has a vessel sink. Isn't that sexy? So Numar really rose to the occasion and delivered 
a very fantastic coach for us. So um, what's nice about this is nothing's going to fall into the sink. It's all going to be able to be separate. Get that little sticky stuff. You still have all your same cabinetry. But here, remember I said to remember what it looked like with the two versus the one? We've added a third shelf, giving you extra storage here in this back area. So very, very cool. Another thing that's a little bit different, this coach has the optional safe. So I know in the last one we saw it did not have that optional safe. All of the storage is the same. Uh, we have the same aquamizer shower system where you're going to recycle your cool water into your freshwater tank until it gets warm. Uh, this is a great thing to do, by the way. If you want to run uh, AC1 or AC2 when you're plugged into 50 amp, use someone else's power. You're more than welcome to. Run that aquamizer system on the recycle. Get that water nice and hot when it's cold, like nine degrees, like it was today. That will help the coach to keep warm because you'll be heating that water and you'll be using it off of a power pole that you're not paying for. Well, I guess you are because you're paying resort fees, but still less money. Worst case scenario, you go ahead and run it off of your burner system. It will still help you to heat your coach, both with a hydronic heat, but then again, having that nice warm water tank underneath your coach is a great way to kickstart that. Now, Jody, we've already seen the mirror on the inside of this. We've already seen um, how these nightstands work, but look at how decadent this is with this Bermuda, gla uh, Bermuda glazed maple high gloss finish. So again, both of these coaches are twins. Um, there's so many things that are similar, but these little nuances really make the coach special to the buyer. Uh, so the table that we have here is the one that comes out from underneath the buffet. It only has the one extension in the center, but you still have both of your chairs. Both of your great, you know, both of them have the great storage underneath. You've just got the access to your uh, entire coach through your phone. MCD power shades in both of these coaches. Uh, and you'll note also that we have this fantastic pantry uh, is the same in both RVs. So it's a push to release, full extension cabinet, right? So all of these are, are really nice. It's illuminated when you open that door. You've got your 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator in both RVs. See, you guys thought I covered every single little thing in the first one, but I didn't. I saved some stuff just for this RV. Um, these side-by-side -side comparisons, I hope that they help you. Uh, for me, when I was out shopping for my RV, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to see. I really try to answer questions for people. I get back to all my comments. I answer tons of text messages. Um, right before we got here, I've got someone flying in to see me today. I've got someone coming in on Monday. I do a ton of special orders all over the country. And the reason I do it is I think a lot of people really want someone who cares about making sure their clients are getting what they need and not what I have. Um, so if you have a specific need, understand TransWest is super flexible. Uh, so for instance, these Lamberquins are all made with a simple uh, material. So we took out a material that was a little more busy in here and changed even the valances so that you've got more of a subtle uh, impact. We also took this beautiful fabric from a different uh, a different interior option altogether and replaced what was on these coach on, or on these seats. It had a lot of blue in it. Debbie wasn't a big, big fan of the blue, so she didn't want to do that. Um, they spend a lot less time with television uh, than most folks do and a lot more time uh, actually doing, it's not needlepoint. Is it needlepoint? Yeah, it's needlepoint. So lots of needlepoint. So it was important to be able to have a freestanding lamp and a bigger area to be able to work with. So having this removable, this removable table was important. Let me see if I can make this look easy. There we go. So as you saw, we had the one extension uh, next underneath the bed. I'm trying to see if I can get it to roll. Here we go. So I can put the extension here and have this much table space and just have the two chairs on either side, or I can pull the table out all together, right? have it here in the center, have a place for both people to eat, and then still have enough room to have a full-time needlepoint system or needlepoint center set up at the desk. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. So much versatility in this coach. So I can take one of these chairs, put it right here. 
I have all of my supplies. I can keep my file cabinet with all of my different uh, supplies here, my different drawings, all of my different needles. And then here, I even have a place if I want to download a new program or a new, uh, a new design, print it here at my print station. I have all of this space over here at this workstation. And I can even run a computer from here through here and have a nice desktop monitor. So still have all this great space here, right? So lots and lots of functionality in this coach. Still have plenty of room above for board games, backgammon, maybe a few decks of cards, flashlights, batteries, whatever it is that you'd like to store up here. But then instead of having my theater seats, uh, Russ has a seat that, a recliner that he actually really loves. And it's not this recliner. But by buying these recliners, until they get to Oregon to pick up his new recliner, uh, they can take this one out when they get there and replace it with his favorite recliner. So he could have his own recliner and then they have this really nice stationary table with a ton of storage here. And you still have your cup holders. It's just in a completely different format or format. <laughs> format. Uh, so like I said, really interesting in how you can customize this RV to be very homey. And again, this coach was ordered for some folks that have been out uh, in their Fleetwood for the last 30 years. Well, I shouldn't say they've had the same coach. They've had a number of different iterations, but this is what it's replacing. And when they did it, they knew, you know, we love our vessel sink. So they wanted to have the vessel sink not only in the bathroom, but also in the master bath. So the mid and the master now have vessel sinks. But the one that was in the mid bath was a little bit too small. So we called Newmar and said, hey, you've got this great vessel sink in a London air. Can we have that? And they said, absolutely, no problem. They were able to do that for us. Now in both of these coaches, we have the same bed. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like, at least one of them, right? Seat belts are behind. In the theater seats, there are seat belts. In these two, there are no seat belts, just so you know. So if you need the extra two seat belts, that might be a consideration for you. But as I mentioned, Debbie was really concerned about the coach being too dark. Uh, so we went with this lighter leather and it is just beautiful. It's turned out so well. And nobody in the entire United States will have a coach anything like this. Completely unique for both clients, uh, completely different. No one will mistake your RV for someone else's because these are both very unique specimens. And then as I mentioned earlier, no dishwasher. How's that? You want to have some extra drawer space? You need a little extra room for pots and pans and baking supplies when you're living full time in your coach? And there's only two of you? Absolutely. How nice is that? The other thing that they did I thought was very interesting and I'd never seen before is they took all the stuff out from underneath. So here, look at how much room is down there. I mean, without those slide outs, it's actually quite beneficial. You still have the place to store your, uh, your sink covers or your uh, oven tops, but you know, it's just a completely different experience. And then even um, up top here, look at that cabinet without the slide out. Even Jody's like, okay, you got me. Never seen that. Um, so, you know, you still have all of your great space here. You still have your spice shelf. Um, I think that's so mm -hmm. fun to see how different uh, this RV looks uh, with these dark cabinets versus these light cabinets. I mean, it feels like you're in a completely different RV and you know, this is exactly the same as the other one, even down to like your little island that pops out. Um, oh, I don't think we showed the drawers in this in the last one. So we'll do that now. Look at how big these are. I love this. So much storage, both that beautiful high gloss, I shouldn't say that, both that beautiful hardwood, fin hardwood maple, but one with a high gloss, one with a matte finish. As you can see, you've got this, this uh, ceiling is so tuxedo. Oh, and if you wanna see this color here, this, uh, this finish that you see here, this is the color that the seats would have been if we had not subbed it out. So that's how much darker uh, this interior would have been all of the furniture if we had not subbed it out. And they asked me, they said, well, do you wanna leave that or do you wanna make it match? And I said, no, I kind of like the way it would be like contrasting, um, but really being able to completely customize this coach. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's your 43 inch television up front. Uh, you still have your outlets. 
Again, all uh, these floors are heated. Uh, please keep in mind the, uh, where the table is, they're not heated. So just so you know that this whole slide is not heated, but everywhere I've stood so far will be heated. Um, so I don't know, this is, a, this is kind of a fun thing to be able to show you uh, what you can do when you order your own coach. Um, I do think it's worth taking one last trip outside more because it's just an easier place to end. I can run off screen. <laughs> It's so weird to end a video on the inside of the coach. Oh, the baseball cap holder. I got in really big trouble when I sold my first 4081 because I had a, a Donald Trump hat in there and someone was accused us of being politically motivated. I was like, it's not even my coach. These guys already took delivery of it. It's their hat, my gosh. But uh, anyway, that's the baseball hat holder. Um, this is a beautiful uh, color. This actually matches the coach uh, that they're trading in. So they loved their color combination so much. They always had so many compliments. Uh, they thought that we'd give it another run and it's just turned out so well. It's so pretty. Um, and you know, I, again, I'm so grateful to all of you who shop with us, who tune in, who watch us every Monday at 1030. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping.